Because we can't see rotary valves, they're, they're a mystery to most of us. I'll show you what a rotary valve looks like so that we can discuss the different parts of the rotary valve. Okay, that is the rotary valve. Now when I speak about light oil versus bearing oil, the light oil is going to go on the body of the rotor. That's 95% of what you're seeing here is the body of the rotor. The top and the bottom of the rotors have spindles or bearings and they do all the work. They uh, ensure that the valve is concentric in the casing and, uh, and will spin at uh, either 90 degrees in most cases or in, in some cases 120 degrees for change valves uh, without any uh, uh, radial play or end play. Both bad things. Um, either, either radial or end play will cause a valve to leak. So at the body of the valve I want to oil with a nice light oil. Uh, Hetman is the only brand that I recommend for rotary valves. Um, I would apply oil to the body Three or four drops, no more. Now, of course, we're not going to be taking the valves out to oil them, but I'm just saying uh, the amount of oil that you want on the body of the valve is three or four drops. Spindle oil, the much heavier oil that goes on the top and the bottom of the valve, and I'll explain how to do this in a moment. The body of the valve that we've just showed you is accessible if you pull a, a slide from a double horn. I recommend to pull from the F side because once you've oiled the F side, gravity will um, will help you uh, will help the oil drop down into the B flat side of the horn. So what I would do is I'd actuate the lever while I'm dropping the oil in, so that it splashes around. So I'm going one, two, three drops, four drops max. While I'm <coughs> actuating the lever, I put the horn down, and that oil will eventually drop down onto the lower part of the uh, body of the valve, the B flat side. So that's how I would oil uh, the body of the valve. I'd then put the slide back in. Some people would say, oh, why don't you just put 50 drops of oil in the slide and then dump it into the valve. Well, you'll certainly oil the valve, but you'll also oil your horn and you'll mix your uh, tuning slide oil and oil together. It will come back into the valve as a much heavier oil and your valves will barely move. So why don't you tell us about the bearings? Oiling bearings, a lot of people don't bother oiling bearings and their horns wear out twice as fast if they don't. Um, I would recommend if you want to think about it uh, infrequently maybe on the first of every month you take out your bearing oil and uh, I've, I've already removed the top cap on this valve. Hetman has a nifty little oiler that helps you put the oil in the right place. I'm going to actuate the valve while I'm dropping one drop of bearing oil on the back bearing. And just as important, maybe even more important, is that I'll turn the horn around. And now I've taken this screw out, so normally there'd be a screw in the top of that stop arm. But very important to, to place the needle between the moving stop arm and the stationary casing. There's a little slot there. And it is going to be messy if I do at this angle, but I'm, oh, it's too messy. If you do over oil, grab a Q-tip and wipe up the excess because it's like a magnet for dust if you don't. Dry that off. And there, you've oiled a bearing and you're good till next month.